Hello everyone, it's Lorraine and today I am coming to you with my next um, polish review video and it is freezing cold in here. My husband has the AC blasting on like Alaska. Oh my god. So, excuse the hood, but I'm freezing. So, the two colors I'm going to be using, as usual, colors that I have not used. And um, this one is one that I hauled um, recently from Sally Beauty Supply. This one is from the new um, Orly um, Baked Collection. It is called Saturated. And in the viewfinder, it's looking like it is more blue, but it is a nice, like, vibrant kind of deep purple and let me show you the formula now this is the formula which is much much different than the other orally polishes that i've tried as you can see this one is very very thick the other ones which is why i generally don't buy a lot of orally is because um they've been to me pretty runny um and then this is the brush just a standard sized brush so that's the brush and then the other color that I'm going to be using is by Broadway Nails this is like a vibrant kind of like almost neon kind of neon pink and like a Barbie pink and um, this one is called um, Hong Kong Night and it is much more pink in person, much more vibrant than it's showing up, at least in the LCD. This is the formula, another thicker um, formula, as you can see, which is what I love. And this is the brush. It seems a little bit bigger, kind of, than standard, but um, not. But it looks like it's about the same size as the early one. So I'm going to be using those two. And I'm going to be doing like two colors um, on these two fingers. And the other three will be the other color. And I'm going to do the opposite on this hand. So whatever three I paint on this hand will be the two in the middle on this hand. And the two in the middle will be the three on this hand. So that's it. Let me go ahead and get set up. And I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the polish application. I am going to start with um, saturated, and I'm going to be placing that on my middle and um, ring finger. So as always, I cap the free edge. This helps with longevity and wear of your polish. This, oh, that was very, very deep and saturated. Wow, this is a nice one coater. Very minimal mess. So that is what it looks like completely opaque in one coat. Very, very pleased with that one. And so now I'm going to be applying um, Hong Kong Night on my index and um, my index finger. Both brushes fan out really nicely. This one is very, very vibrant. And it is self-leveling. So very nice. So that is one coat 
of Hong Kong night and I'm just going to clean up the edge here so that is what one coat of each polish looks like so I'm going to finish the rest of my nails and I will be back okay so I am back and I have finished applying my polish on both hands and this is the look that I've done um, it's so much brighter more bright in person and the LCD screen on my camera it's coming it's not coming off as vibrant as it actually is in person the pink now this is what I call like a nice neon no white base coat needed I did end up putting on two coats for each color just because um, I use the plie brushes and unfortunately I need to figure out a better way to store the brushes that I've used when they're not in use because they get really really hard and um, I what well yeah they get really hard so and what happens when the bristles get hard is that it makes the polish application a little bit trickier and kind of streaky when both of these polishes um, with the regular brush were perfectly opaque in one coat but I did go ahead and put on two coats um, of each polish just because um, I had to fix some spots that um, were kind of not as opaque due to the plie brushes and so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to store them so they don't get extremely hard in between polish applications so um, I'm very very pleased with both colors extremely pleased with both colors um, the um, orally saturated which is the purple that I have on now I do want to note um, that it dries to a satin finish it is not a high gloss finish at all but it is very very opaque the formula is actually really nice this is one of the um, first orally's that I must say that I am in love with since I've been using orally's period because most orally polish formulas that I've tried have been extremely runny and kind of patchy and streaky this one's not patchy it's not streaky it's not runny it's a nice thicker formula it is opaque in one coat I mean it is just a really 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 fabulous polish and I'm glad that I did pick this up and again this is saturated from the new Orly baked collection and then the next color that I have on is this very bright pink called Hong Kong night and again oh and I will say both brushes do fan out nicely um, I like both brushes they're not too big they're not too small they're like a really good size even though they're not curved at the tip they're completely flat at the tip of the brush um, they do fan out really really nicely so you can get nice clean lines at the base of the nail and um, again Hong Kong night is this one it is opaque in one coat I do like the brush the bristles are very very soft the application is absolutely fantastic it again opaque in one coat but I did go ahead and apply two coats this one I had to apply like three because I kept messing and nicking this nail for some reason so but I am extremely pleased with both polishes Broadway nails is only one dollar at Dollar General I haven't seen them anywhere else orally these prices vary I think they're about if you go to Ulta they're like like almost eight dollars at Sally's I want to say they're like six something maybe I can't really remember the price at Sally's but they are much cheaper if you go to Sally's um, I highly recommend going to Sally's for orally china china glaze and OPI because you can get them for a few dollars cheaper than you can at Ulta. The only time I generally pick them up at Ulta is if they are on clearance for four dollars or less at Ulta. Um, so extremely pleased with both colors. If you can get your hands on them, you should definitely check them out. They are well worth the price, especially this one being that it's only a dollar. Um, 
but this one is just a nice fabulous color again it does dry to a satin finish so if you're not one that likes satin or matte finishes you'll definitely need a top coat but I am going to be stamping over top of this um, so and always put on a top coat so that's not going to matter so let me know what do you think about these two colors which one of the two or which ones which one would you prefer if you had to pick up and you could only get one regardless of price um or would you get them both and just say forget it get them both i'm leaning i would go with both fantastic so that's it thanks for watching stay polished at all times and have a great day bye